Hey everyone, welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Welcome back. Just some some irrelevant um off screen behind the scenes. That minute was a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Well, usually a minute is about to six tell them that. <laughs> Alright, I thought that just said Terra Strong's tangled web. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so anyway, there's an the extra movies. star we can get here. So we're gonna get it. Because this is a hundred percent run. Oh yeah, that's right. I love you know, Sonic Colors. Me too. People have a lot more fun when you just sort of... I think Rotolus is falling asleep. This would be like a fourth of the time it took for me to record if I just went straight for Bowser. And I would like have skipped like three-fourths of the game. Well, you just you need to do that, that way it's run. easier and we don't need to put as much effort into uploads! But guys, Stubble really was looking forward to toy time, and that would have been totally skipped if I didn't do a 100% run. You're also assuming that Silver's gonna be here! I know he's probably not, but still, we have to do everything. Do we though? Do we really? Exactly, because Galaxy 2 I'm definitely doing a 100% run of too. Oh my gosh. That includes the green stars, by the way. Now feed this thing until it explodes. No, okay. He's not wasting time to helping to others. The 240 star run in Super Mario Galaxy 2. I feel like the viewership for that particular video is going to be low, and we're going to have to learn our lesson. Yeah. Only want to watch. Yeah, I said Lulu sounds like he's falling asleep. He just sounds so uninterested. Is it because we're not talking about Kingdom Hearts, Rodolus, or, or Sonic? Sonic? It has nothing to do with Kingdom Hearts or Sonic. It's just, uh, you know. I'm chilling. I'm taking it in a stride. I'm not trying to bring down the mood or nothing. Yo, Kuna Matata. Potato Matata. <laughs> Kuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Hanukkah. Hanukkah Matata. Whatever, oh, okay. whatever it's called. All right, where's this fat green bastard? <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> because he, okay, he was expecting. Okay, that's an interesting thing. You're not supposed to come back out here. <laughs> it just triggered the love... glass break. <laughs> I love that. It's like, now where is this? This <laughs> is <laughs> like Mario stepped on a landmine. They, you have to go in there getting a star back. So why would they expect you to not come back out? I don't know. Maybe they just never I don't expected know. I don't know why. That just reminds me of this one friggin' movie. I forgot the name, but I saw it, like, once years ago. It's like this movie where basically this dude is out in, like, frickin', uh, out in, like, the middle of, like, uh, a minefield. He steps on this mine that he, um, ba basically steps on this mine and he can't move, and the entire movie just takes place in that one spot oh, for, like, two hours. Really? I'm, just, I'm thinking about something like Mario. It's like he steps on a landmine. It's like this overly <laughs> dramatic and suspenseful friggin' like um, experience where Mario's just like, I can't move my foot. So none of these Goombas give coins or star bits. I like those. I like that that homing attack that Mario's able to do for some reason. Boy, what about cutting it close? Yeah, you're about to die. I'm still not dead. I would... It, oof. I would be so sad for you if you died on the last one. Oh no. Not really though, I'd be laughing. Ahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah
Never. It never moves. You like this level, huh, guys? Mm. I actually do. Let me get back to I you never experienced it. You so like no? it being reused? Well, now, well, it is reused it's a lot. smaller segments of later levels? That black hole. Time to end my misery. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, the black hole song, sucks. Guys. This isn't a song. It's a scale. These scales are all pages. Uh huh. Do re mi fa so, do re fa so, do re fa so, everybody knows. Do 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 scales and our fancy O's. I forget. Hey, look, I haven't really watched Mr. Cats in a long time. <laughs> What'd you say? That's like reverse science. Reverse science, yeah. You created a the white black hole. hole turned into a star. That's how the galaxy works. Black the holes, holes they turn into stars. They I do. mean, what do, what do you think mm -hmm. happens to all that mass? If all that mass <laughs> coming together in the first place makes a star, I don't see why just forcing it all together in a black hole doesn't also make a star. <laughs> <laughs> Logic is perfectly sound. Absolutely. You know, a black hole isn't yeah. a star that got so big it blew up into a black hole. We can just turn it back into a star. It's a star that got depressed. It was <laughs> yeah, all like, you know it. what? I'm tired of we shining for no one. <laughs> I don't have any cash. The star's just lonely. It's like it's trying to get some money on Tinder and it's like there are no other stars out there. And then it becomes a toxic star, exactly. It's all so, like, if I can't be happy, nobody can. Back into a happy this is how you explain the universe. Yeah, it watches a bunch of dank memes on the internet and Twitter. It starts living its life by them, you know? Especially those Area 51 memes. It's like, you know what? Uh, I could just end it all. Topical! It's Topical Rotalus. You're dating the video again. There's no way we can get away from that. We're gonna be talking about... I like how That's this music is really dramatic. I, I don't know why I hate this level. Like, I don't know why. Dreadnought. I just works. You Dude, helped the guy clean the trash. If I'm remembering correctly, there's a guy around don't here somewhere. Remind me of my PTSD for that. You blow up his trash. That's that's how you get rid of it. That's how I do it you in my house. You, <laughs> you, <laughs> you blow it up. Yep. Purple coins for these levels are so stuck. Awful. I hate it. What did you say, Bisque? I feel like I didn't hear that at all. You take a nuke to it, to the yep. garbage. Nuke the garbage. Radioactive <laughs> garbage! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Don't tell me. Auto scrolling! Auto scrolling levels. That's that's some um, uh, speaking of Mario 3 nostalgia, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because every game that uses auto scrolling is referencing Mario 3. Yes. Did um, Mario 64 or Sunshine have any auto scrolling levels? Mario 64? I don't believe so. It did have slide levels, which I guess you couldn't go backwards in there, but. Mario 64 was pretty, and I hate to say straightforward, considering it was one of the first 3D platformers of its kind. So it's like hard to say. Oh, it's like it was formulaic, but no, it wasn't. They really did something special with that game. But, um... Mario 64 to this day is still my favorite Mario game. My only problem with Mario Odyssey is that there's too much content. There's too much content. I haven't actually ever played <laughs> that game, but I still look forward to it. opposite of everyone's complaint for Sonic Forces. <laughs> <laughs> there's not there's enough not content? Enough. Well, no, there isn't. And also, they don't... I don't know. I don't think Sega believes in their characters. And, of course, we're back talking about Sonic Hedgehog again. It's like we're one hey, trick pony around do you here. Wanna, do you want a Sally Acorn game? I mean, one day, yeah. That'd be great. I feel like there's a lot of untapped potential that they have in these things. Like, I mean, there are more people clamoring for a Sally game than there are people that's like, Hey, I, w I want a freaking Toad game. We actually <laughs> got that. I forgot about that. Yeah, there's a Toad. Toad's Adventure. Three it was like, it was a mini game, and then they'd be like, You know what? People liked it, sort of. Let's make a whole game about it. Twice. Yeah, it did well. 
People like Captain Toad. How do Toad. we make a spinoff of Mario? Actually, what's Mario known for? Uh, jumping. Jumping. I know. Jumping. We'll have a spinoff where you can't jump. We'll have a spinoff where you can't jump and you have a freaking vacuum cleaner and you suck up ghosts. That's Mario, right? That's what Mario's all about. No, it's not <laughs> Mario. No, it's like, that game's gonna suck. Put Luigi on it. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we did have a... People didn't really like us, Mario Sunshine, so let's just do the opposite of that. Instead of having a water no, gun, Luigi's he's got a Mansion vacuum cleaner. came out first. Oh. Luigi's Mansion was a launch title. They had to have been developing Mario at the same... Uh, Mario uh, Sunshine at the same time, though. There's no possible way they, they waited. Considering they came out... What? How many years apart? Like one, maybe two. I think the launch yeah. hours for the game like were Pikmin and Luigi's Mansion. Well, why did the conversation just stop? <laughs> we were all thinking about the time frame of Luigi's Mansion and how it's a better title than this <laughs> game here. No, I'm kidding. No. Uh, like, I have not actually played. Um, I have not finished Luigi's Mansion. I played the first one and I didn't really get anywhere. I think I was too busy playing I Twilight haven't Princess. Played Luigi's Mansion game. Because that's what I bought that console for when I heard Twilight Princess was coming out. I was too busy playing Kingdom Hearts at the time. Uh, no, I wasn't. Two thousand one. No, I didn't play those games when they came out. I didn't have a GameCube. I didn't get a GameCube until like when. Um, Twilight Princess came out. That is when I got my first GameCube. So, first and only. Right when the Wii came out? Yeah, right there, about 2007. I got myself a freaking GameCube so I could play uh, Twilight Princess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't get a Wii, which at the time had GameCube support. No. I had to get a GameCube. No, I wanted the GameCube. It had more games and it had that game on it. I was like, hey, man. Except for you could play all those GameCube games on that new fancy Wii. GameCube cheap, I didn't have money. So you I know, I don't know why, in one game. but hearing the, phrase, hearing the phrase new fancy Wii is funny to me. I imagine. Ah, is it Trashland? So Nintendo comes out with bombs. the new Wii. That is Trash Man. You're gonna, run, you're gonna waste your star bits, man. Now you have none. It was worth it. This is the ammo depot, not a trash place. What do people think if they just toss their trash here? Hey, we have plenty of bombs. Maybe you could just blow it up? All this trash. That's a solution. Gee, thanks. You know, when Mario does it, it's a fun little mini game. When I do it, I get on the freaking terrorist wash list. <laughs> <laughs> trying to blow up my garbage. <laughs> <laughs> That's my right as an American citizen. We, we are questioning why you uh, googled how to make a bomb. Okay, listen. <laughs> I was trying to blow up my trash. Hey, I, I'm just trying to help the environment. I'm getting rid of the trash. So you don't yeah, need you to know, put it all, all those in one greenhouse place. gas emissions and whatnot? I don't want so that I in my city. Uh-oh. No, no, you gotta go faster. There's a time limit for some reason. What's this? Mario did die of cardiac arrest? Gee, thanks. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> now what I was but saying, officer. What? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just I'm try, trying to help the environment right now. You know, when you blow up the... Like, the problem when you put it in a regular landfill is it's got the greenhouse gas emissions, right? So if you stop the gases from expanding by blowing them up, then you don't have the climate change. It's fine. It's all good. <laughs> How does that help the environment? Well, okay, that that's what. All right. I also have a so uh, another solution to solve this problem. Oh, darn it. Uh, we could blow up. We Those could bombs. blow up cars so there are no more fossil fuels. We could remove all blow fossil all fuels. Blow up all cars. Blow up all the cars. Set them all on fire. Set all the fuel on <laughs> fire. Then it can't be burned in in people's engines. <laughs> And then we'll save the environment by burning it all before it gets to be used in a car. Like the Exxon Valdez or the... What's it called? I feel like you're working on some Thanos logic. That, that's not even Thanos logic. There are several more things wrong with that. 
Well, if Thanos There's logic too many was bad logic. Fuels. We need to stop using them. So let's use them all up. <laughs> let's burn them up all at once, and there won't be an industry around it, and then no one will want to <laughs> dig that stuff out of the ground anymore. Please, come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Ugh. One <laughs> second left to spare. Who knew the bombs would work so well? They're not really. They didn't. He's like, you did not see that I failed twice, right? <laughs> I don't remember the past. <laughs> the mind's been erased. It yeah, doesn't erased. exist when you did past. If you fail. That, that's erased. why Mario's willing to keep up with I all like the that. like princess saving all the time. He just forgets about it every time. It's always the first time. He doesn't get tired of Bowser. Bowser doesn't get tired because Peach erases all their memories. Because he's a goddess. The best buds. According to Gaijin Goomba. I thought Rosalina was the goddess. Oh, she's a space goddess, but. Peach runs <laughs> the planet. <laughs> <laughs> See, the Rosalina well, may run the entire freaking universe, but well, Peach, Peach, that... Peach runs the planet Earth. <laughs> Just Earth. Mushroom Kingdom. What were you saying? Back then, pot, everyone. Okay. Oh, that's what you were saying. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was I like, wasn't Who's... saying that. Actually, I said, what about the Bean Bean Kingdom or whatever that place is? Daisy rules over. Daisy's just a regular mundane human. Yeah. <laughs> the freaking, the ca then there's a freaking Cascade Kingdom. You know what the Cascade Kingdom is? It's freaking Planet Wisp. Yes. Or not the Cascade Kingdom. One of the levels in Mario Odyssey. It's freaking he Planet Wisp. Daisy so she can feel more powerful. She's like, oh, you're just a regular princess. 